Welcome to the spoken tutorial on A2D Converter Read. In this tutorial, we will learn about the working of A2D that is Analog to Digital Converter Read instruction. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC main board, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, heater module. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with heater module and compare instructions. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect. SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. This instruction reads the data collected by ADC built within a microcontroller. The data collected will be stored in a variable. This ADC variable can be manipulated using compare and arithmetic operations. The ADC of Atmega 16 is of 10 bit resolution. That is, it outputs values from 0 to 1023. We will learn about the working of this instruction using a simple analog example. In this tutorial, we will control the temperature of the resistor. That is, the heating element of the open PLC heater module. We will have the conditions as follows. If the ADC value is less than 800, turn on the fan and turn off the heating element. If the ADC value is greater than 900, turn off the fan and turn on the heating element. You can set the limit values according to your requirements. Recall that the temperature sensor used in the heater module is a NTC thermistor. Thus, the resistance of the thermistor is inversely proportional to the temperature. Let us open LD Micro. Insert a A2D converter read instruction as shown. Double click on read ADC. We can see a box to enter the destination variable. Type temp and click the OK button. We can see that the name temp is prefixed by A. In the I.O. list, we can see its type as ADC input. Now, insert a rung below. Insert a greater than compare instruction in the new rung as shown. Double click on it. Set the variable to A temp and compare it to 900. Click the OK button. To the right of it, insert a coil. Rename the coil as heat and configure it as set only coil. Now, parallel to Y heat, insert another coil. Rename it as fan and configure it as reset only coil. Insert one more rung below. Place a less than compare instruction in the new rung as shown. Double click on it. Set the variable as A temp and compare it to 800. Click the OK button. To the right of it, insert a coil. Rename the coil as heat and configure it as reset only coil. Now, parallel to Y heat, insert another coil. Rename it as fan and configure it as set only coil. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then non simulation mode. Next, start real time simulation as shown. We can observe 
Initially, the value of ATEMP is 0, that is, less than 800. So, the state of Y heat is 0 and Y fan is 1. Double click on ATEMP in the I.O. list. A slider bar appears. We can change the ADC value by scrolling the pointer. ADC reading 0 represents the minimum resistance value of the thermistor. ADC reading 1023 represents the maximum resistance value of the thermistor. Slowly increase the value of A temp. We can observe the states of Y heat and Y fan will be the same until it reaches 900. Once it goes above 900, the state of Y heat will be 1 and Y fan will be 0. These states will be the same until the ADC value goes below 800. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select the microcontroller AVR at Mega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign pin PC6 to Y fan and PC7 to Y heat. Double click on A temp in the IO list. IO pin dialog box opens. We can see there are only porte pins as they are the ADC pins. Select PA7 and click the OK button. Compile the logic as ADC.hex. Then save the ladder diagram as ADC.LD We will now see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T key simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Power the heater module through Relimate connectors from the main board. Connect. Pin PA7 of the main board to Temp MCU pin of the heater module. Connect Pin PC7 of the main board to Heat MCU pin of the heater module. Connect Pin PC6 of the main board to Fan MCU pin of the heater module. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, Turn on the power supply. Depending on the initial temperature, either the fan or resistor starts heating up. For the first time, we can observe that heat on LED is turned on. This is because the temperature of the heating element is low. After some time, when the resistor gets heated up, the fan will turn on. It is also indicated by fan on LED. Again, when the resistor cools down, the resistor starts heating up. Thus, the process continues depending on the temperature of the resistor. Note that initially, the fan might turn on if the resistor is already heated up. Turn off the power supply. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about working of A2D converter read instruction.
As an assignment, change the limit values and repeat the experiment. If ADC value less than 750, the fan should turn on and the heating element should turn off. If ADC value is greater than 950, the fan should turn off and the heating element should turn on. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team signing off. Thanks for watching.